Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. Today I would like to present my invention hybrid geopolymer coating or we call HGC. So the inventors of these inventions are me myself Dr. Farah Fahana Zainal, Professor TS Dr. Muhammad Mustafa Al Bakri Abdullah and Associate Professor Dr. Azmi Rahman. So I will start with the problem statement. Before we start, I want to share with you one video regarding the problem statement related and why I came up with my products. And for your information, when the reinforcement bar embedded in the concrete structures, so it will form the passive layer. And the function of the passive layer itself, it wants to protect the corrosive agents to attack the rebar from corrosion to occur we know that the corrosion become very worse especially at seawater environment because it has it have a lot of corrosive agents such as chloride ion moisture content oxygen and also water h2o then when this when this corrosive agent attack the reinforcement bar the rust layer will form at the reinforcement bar surface as we can see from the video then the rust itself become bigger and bigger and bigger until the rust itself cause cracking at the concrete surface and this is we call spalling which the concrete wall is cracked then the spalling occur when the concrete crack and we also could see the reinforcement bar inside the concrete as shown in the video. So this is very dangerous and if we not cater this problem, it will cause the concrete structure collapse and will harm the human. So for the solution, we produce the hybrid geopolymer coating or we call HGC from processing of light edge geopolymer paste as major solution to minimize the deterioration by protecting surface of materials and also can increase the strength of the materials and HGC also can be used as the coating paint to repair the damage and the affected area so at the right side this is our product the hybrid geopolymer coating Okay, so for the manufacturing process, the HGC was made by mixing the pozzolanic materials such as fly ash and we mix with the alkaline activator. Then the alkaline activator are sodium hydroxide solution and also the sodium silicate solution. The alkaline activator were prepared and mixed together 24 hours prior to use so that it become more homogeneous. Then, after mixed fly ash and the alkaline activator, the geopolymer paste HGC was produced. And then we just apply this HGC paint to the problem reinforcement concrete area. So, this is very simple process. Okay, so this is the product description. Okay, the HGC is the protective coating materials. We when where we it will pro, uh, it will coat the surface to protect the reinforcement bar from corrosion occur then it also create a resistant surface to the reinforcement it also the low water absorption and porosity and this product also can withstand high temperature which is it, it can go up until 1200 degrees C and this product also highest rank and improvised thermal properties and other properties and it also low water permeability properties okay so we also had done a few testing 
to see the product performance and the testing uh, compressive strength, water absorption, the porosity, the density, the chemical resistance testing, the coating thickness, high temperature endurance, concrete resistivity, the corrosion rate, and the chloride permeability test. And for the compressive strength, we got 60 to 70 megapascal, and it and this is very high strength compared to the normal concrete. Then the water absorption is also less than 4%. The porosity is less than 2%. The density is in the range 2.4 gram per centimeter cube. Then it also suffered acid resistance, stabilized less mass change compared to ordinary Portland cement. So the coating thickness is in the range 0.3 millimeter to 2 centimeter. Then high temperature endurance, so 1000 degrees and actually it's up to 1200 degrees C. So the concrete resistivity is more than 560 ohm and the corrosion rate is very low, below 10% risk of corrosion and the chloride permeability is negligible. Okay, this is the potential application for this product. So, it's protective coating materials and it also can use as the refractory structure. Uh, it's also the toxic immobilization solution and it also can protect from corrosion materials. So, this is the novelty for the invention. So, produce hybrid geopolymer coating for anti-corrosion refractory geopolymer coating paint and it also cost saving in terms of raw material because the fly ash is a waste material and it's a byproduct of industrial processes and we got this fly ash for free. So, it's very cost safe. Then, the production of hybrid geopolymer coating also is environmental friendly. So actually, uh, we can uh, decrease until 84% of CO2 release to the environment when we use this hybrid geopolymer coating. Okay, so this is the product coating application on site. Okay, this is the real situation occur in Kuala Polis, which Kuala Polis is located at sea water environment which is the concrete structures extremely exposed to the corrosive agents such as chloride ion oxygen h2o and moisture so this is our product coating application on site so as you can see at the left side this is the before we coat the uh, problem area and at the right side is our product hybrid geopolymer coating then we coat to the problem area and it's like a new a new structures okay this is another product coating application on site so as you can see from the left side the we also we can see the reinforcement bar at the concrete structure then we just paste our hgc to the a problem area to to protect uh, to protect this uh, reinforcement bar uh, to to become dangerous to the human because the reinforcement bar uh, is corroded then it will harm the human if they touch this reinforcement bar so for this product we also have uh, three patterns so the first one is we have the us pattern which is it's about the environment friendly composite construction materials the second one is europe pattern which is about a method of coating a geopolymer onto an article and the last one is the malaysian pattern a geopolymer composition for coating applications and we also have the industrial collaboration so this product is in research cooperation agreement between university malaysia police universitas negeri makassar unm 
Indonesia, Sirim Berhad Malaysia, King Abdul Aziz City for Science and Technology Cast and Saudi Aramco, Saudi Arabia. So this is our publication related to this invention. So we have a lot of publication and this also our publication for this invention and thank you so much.